start getting things to work, right? So let's go into our, into our scene. So what I want to do now is control thing. All right, so I wanna control the doors. Uh, I wanna make it so that whenever you press these buttons, right, uh, they will control either a light source that's gonna be put outside of this area. I've got this directional light. Um, I need to put two directional light. I need to put two light sources into here and then control them. Let's do the light sources first. That's the easiest thing to actually do. Let's create, and this is gonna be not the final thing. This is gonna be something dumb. Uh, what is it a point probably a point source it's just probably a single bulb out there right do I have the light uh... oh there we go so I click light it's a strobe light very close to the bottom yeah okay we're gonna go with a point light then so let's bring in a game object a light point light and I'm just gonna put it outside the door because it does look like it's kind of illuminating up and off actually very low very low probably to make it seem creepier than it really is and i'm going to duplicate that light really quick move it off to the other side and uh, let's just give these different colors so i can tell the difference between the two uh, we'll give it a reddish hue on that side and this one we're going to give a greenish hue wow that's that's interesting uh, and I'm going to nuke my directional light a bit. Uh, I'm going to give it just like a 0 0.1 value. I don't want it contributing so heavily to everything going on. Actually, this room has a single point light, doesn't it? Or a spotlight right there because, of course, you've got all the other junk going on. But we could use we could use a point light. Let's do that. Let's, let's duplicate this object, bring it in here, bring it up to the top, nuke our global light, and uh, make this, um, you know, a... What is that color? A mustardy type color or something? Yeah, we'll go with that. Move that in back into the room somewhere right right around there. And then we'll do hard shadows. And uh, we'll do the same for these. I think everything's probably going to end up being hard shadowed. Uh, that's fine. I don't, I don't need bounce light right now. It's interesting. Oh, yeah, there's no geometry on that side. So the light's getting through the doors. All right, let's control the light sources. Uh, so when I press these buttons, it's, uh, what is the order? It's light for the bottom, door for the top. So when I press this, I want it to activate the other object. Um, probably gonna be doing a lot of clicking on the screen and rather than have a bunch of different objects handling their own clicky clickies, uh, you know, checking for rays and whatnot, I should probably have like one single manager doing that instead. So let's go to scripts, right click, create, C sharp script, and we're just gonna say, we go Half-Life on this and call this just a use manager, meaning like literally trying to use something. The in When I click the left mouse button, I want to cast a ray into the scene and see what it intersects. I'm going to do that in update. So we're going to need to test to see if the mouse button has been cl uh, clicked. So let's do if input dot um, mouse button up. I like to wait on the upstroke, not the downstroke on a lot of things. Although with this game, because you're trying to do things so fast, uh, I might want to do it differently. If I remember correctly, the left mouse button is zero. There's a zero key in Unity. So we'll do that, this. Okay, so what we want to do now is uh, cast a ray into the scene and see if the object has been selected. Uh, we could also do this with, what, middle mouse, a mouse over behavior type thing. Um, let's just do it the ray casting way. Now for the ray cast to work, I need the object itself to have a collider on it. So we have a mesh renderer. Let's go to add component collider. We want a box collider on that. And let's come back down here, add component box collider. And let's come back into here and let's uh, do a, uh, I need a ray, ray is equal to what? New ray. I need to get the mouse click location. So I need to do, what is it? I need camera. I need the camera's info for this. Okay, so let's create a public reference. Let's do public uh, camera. Because when I'm playing the game, other things happen, right? So when I'm in Five Nights at Freddy's, I've got these different screens with different interactable elements. And all of this stuff, doesn't happen unless I'm on this main camera. So this makes me almost want to do this from that camera itself, because then I'll have right access, I'll have access to the component I need right then and there. And then when I get into one of the other cameras though, I should be in this other mode. So I could create modes, just 
different, you know, well, let, let's not worry too much about that. I'll handle it when I get to it. For right now, let's just grab a uh, public camera, security camera. Or what do I call it? Um, security room. Copy this. Let's do security room dot screen to world point. We need a vector three position, which is going to end up being the mouse's location on the screen. So I want to do input dot mouse position. So this gives us a vector now, which I can use in my ray. An array takes in a that's my direction vector. My origin is the location of the actual camera. So we're going to want to do security room dot uh, game object. Or can I get the transform from here? Transform? Yes. Dot position. Get rid of that line right there. Ray cast hit was ray cast hit. Hit. Now let's do a physics dot ray cast. I want to pass in a ray. I'm going to pass in the hit object as out, right, hit. And now I want a maximum distance, which, you know, it might as well just be 10 units. This I want to do an if statement around so that I can get back the information through the hit or it would completely ignore it if nothing happens. We should probably see what the heck we hit. Now I gotta check my objects, don't I? I can make this a public interface if I want to, make it easy access. Public collider, or what was it? Box collider, do light control left. And we're also gonna to wanna to do the same thing for the right. And while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and bring in, not light, did I really do that? Light. Light control left, light control right. And I wanna do the same thing over here. And instead of light control, it's going to be door control. Just preemptively getting that in there. Okay, so we raycast in there. I wanna see whether or not the object we return through that cast, we do hit dot, dot collider. That's the object we collided with. Actually, yeah, you know what, let's just, Let's just typecast this to a simple collider type. No reason to be preferential. If hit.collider is equal to light control left, do something, right? I can do that a couple more times. So we want light control left, light control right, uh, door control left, door control right. Let's just put some debug logs in here really quick. So let's do debug.log, save this and just say flight control left, copy, paste, 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 right, door, door, and right. Save. That's all good. This is good. Check to see if we have any errors here. Nope, it doesn't have a problem. So let's do a few things here. So what are these? This is going to be the right security room, right light. Copy that here, paste and put in left. Uh, that's not right. <laughs> Whoops, there we are. Paste, that's what I want, but this needs to be left. And we're just gonna call the security room light. Save that on out. Now we just need to hook some of this stuff up, right? So we need to attach, so I'm gonna, here's my camera manager. Let's just create temporarily a new manager. We're gonna call this, um, not input, but use manager. Go to our project, grab our use manager, throw it onto the manager, and then just start hooking some of this stuff up, right? So we have the security room 
camera itself, which is this guy right there. Let's lock this so I don't lose it. Select the camera, drag it in there, light in our objects themselves. So let's see, the top is the door control. Let's do door control. Oh, the door controls don't have, uh, really? All right, so unlock this, come in here, add component, box collider, and let's open up the other one, do the same thing, box collider again, save stuff. Now let's go back to our manager, lock it, and start populating our list. So door control right, door control left. So we have door control left, and light control right, and door control right, and light control left. Great. Save, run. Here's our room. Oh, I've got no way of moving left or right. Uh, let's let's do free aspect for the moment though. Maybe I can just fake it. No, I can't fake it. Okay, uh, let's just rotate the, the camera and make this happen temporarily like this. There we are, game and hit run. Bring my game view over to the side and let's do a 16 by nine. Go to console, use manners and destroy, but you're still trying to access it. What? Use manager was destroyed. 